Tonight, one family who has already lost so much is yet feeling another loss. The Anchondo family is mourning the death of Gilberto Anchondo. New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham is being questioned about taxpayer money that she spent on food and alcohol while holding meetings at the governor's map. New Mexico is reporting less numbers of COVID-19 deaths. One death is being reported. The administration is anticipating this summer will be a travel busy season for them. The entire project will cost an estimated $2.7 million, the high-speed chase that ended in Horizon. This is video from Congresswoman Veronica Escobar is inviting El Pasoans to weigh in on the federal minimum wage. A United Airlines passenger jet heading to Honolulu landed safely in Denver after suffering and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says the incident is, quote, very concerning. It was another nice day here in the borderland. Our meteorologist Brad Montgomery shows us if these nice conditions will stick through your Sunday after a word from tonight's sponsor. Or off of a bridge. To look at, take a look at this video out of Milwaukee. You can see her plow through a freeway bridge and then plunge off of the side. The car falls and then hits one more bridge before falling to the bottom lanes. Luckily, the woman survived the crash, but police have now charged her with a DWI. Two women are facing backlash in one community for trying to impersonate the elderly to get their COVID-19 vaccines. This is body camera. One woman is nursing a bite on her bum after a bear snuck up on her while she was using the bathroom. And that wraps up our newscast for this evening. Glad to leave you on that positive note tonight. Have a good rest of your night, and we'll see you again tomorrow at 5.30.